Hey everybody, welcome back to another Raspberry Pi Foundation digital making at home video. This one here is a bonus features video for our Catch the Dots game as part of our Make It Move theme. So if you haven't done the Catch the Dots project that I did with my sidekick Zach, head across now, grab the video, watch that one and work through it until you have a stable and playable game because this video here is going to add to that game. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to make the game so that as you go on, the dots themselves, as they appear, are going to move more quickly across the screen to get to your controller. So they start off moving one step at a time, and we're going to have that step number ramp itself up as your game goes on to get the game to become more and more complicated as we go on. A bit like we were talking about with the Space Invaders previously. So I'm going to switch across now to my Scratch project, just so you can have a look at what I'm talking about. So you can see here, here's our Catch the Dots game. We've got our controller, our three sprites down here. Uh, and our backdrop, which is where this code is currently situated, it's here on our backdrop. So you'll see in my sprites, when they come on, they move one step as they move through the game. And we're going to change that number so that it slowly gets bigger and bigger and makes your dots move faster and faster. And the way we'll do that is we head across here to our stage. It's actually quite simple to do. So we're going to take our delay, we're going to make a new variable like delay, but we're going to call this one speed. We're going to hit enter, variable name speed already exists. So oh, I already made that variable. Cool. So there it is. So we've got our speed variable, and what we want to do is take our speed variable, we're going to duplicate our delay script on, so on our backdrop, and pop it down here. And so it's pretty much exactly the same script, but in reverse. So you see that delay starts at 8, and as your game goes along, delay gets lower and lower by half every uh, 10 seconds until it gets to 2. So delay is how often the dots appear on your screen. We're going to make speed now, which is how fast those dots move once they appear. And so we kind of want to take this delay and change it to speed. We also want to pull delay out of here and drag speed into the hole. And then we want to change this to say speed as well. So now that we've got all our variables changed, we want speed to start at a low number and get bigger. And that number is going to start at 1. All right? So speed will remain the same as 1. So our game starts at 1. We'll start speed at 1. We're going to repeat until speed equals I'll say five, but you can put whatever number you want in here. Remember, the bigger the number, the faster the dots will go. So that's your upper limit of the speed on your dot. So I'm going to have mine stop once it gets to five and not get any faster. If you wanted to go to 10, you can, but remember, 10 steps at a time, that's actually quite quick. You have to be moving fairly fast. It might even be impossible with the game that we've got built. So I'm going to have mine set to five as a maximum. And then I'm going to change speed, not by a negative number, which means it will count down. I want it to change up by a positive number. Okay, actually, I'm going to make mine 1 for testing purposes, but you can make yours, again, whatever you would like. And so, yeah, once more for testing purposes, I'm going to change that weight to 2 seconds so that when I run my game, you can see it get faster and faster much quicker. You don't have to wait 10 seconds just to watch it go up by 1. But again, that weight there, the bigger the weight is, the slower it will go, all right? which means the longer time it will take to make that speed go faster. So my game is going to get very fast very quickly, but you can have yours set up whatever numbers you would like. As long as you have it set to 1 and it counts up to your maximum, you'll be fine. So I'm going to head across now to my dots, which is the other side of this code. So it's all well and good having speed here, but unless it affects your dots, it doesn't make any difference. So what we want it to do is when I start as clone here, we've got move one step. We're just going to tell it to move speed steps. And I'm going to do the same for the yellow one, move speed steps. And for the blue one, we go up here where it says move one step inside our touching controller loop. And we want it to move speed steps. Now I'm going to turn speed on so we can see a change in our game. And all I have to do now is click start. And you see speed is currently one. We wait a little while. Here's my first red dot. Just turn my sound down. Okay, you see speed is already at five, and you can see those, those dots are now moving quite quickly across my screen. Okay, I've already lost, right? That's how fast five is on your speed. So I can go back here and I can slow that down. I want it to wait a few more seconds than that. Okay, so now it's going to wait five seconds before it changes speed by one. And remember, you can also slow that curve down by making your speed number here be something less than one. So it doesn't have to change at one every time, because within 25 seconds, my game is already at top speed. Okay, so let's have a look. So speed goes back to one. There it is, set one. Look, dots getting quicker. Dots are getting quicker and quicker. You see speed is now three. Speed is now four. And then I've got my speed all the way up at five. And you can see that five is quite quick. Okay, so just as a demo, let's set that speed to be 10. And you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so repeat until speed equals 10. Wait one second, change speed by one. So let's get that to go now. We'll get that to jump up real quick. 
assuming I could stay alive long enough. So you can see here speed eight, speed nine, here we go, speed 10. So that next, look, it's not even far, you can't even turn your controller to get there quick enough, all right? So 10, 10 is a little fast, I think. So we're gonna have maximum speed of five. I'm gonna change my speed by something less than one. So 0 0.5 is nicer. And I might have it wait like five seconds or 10 seconds, whichever one you would like it to have. It depends on how long you want your player to play the game for, because at some point they're moving so fast, it's impossible for your player to keep up. It's just not, it will just crush them. Um, so think about those, play with the numbers, work out what you would like. And that's how you have speed change everybody on your game. I'll catch you later guys on our next bonus features video where I'll show you how to make a high score counter. Catch you later. Bye.